Hi, this is Marcus Eaton again with WebToolsHelp.com, and today I'm going to um, be showing you how to set up an FTP account um, on the cPanel of your HostGator um, hosting account here. So um, we're going to log into our cPanel, and we're going to be looking um, for files, which is going to be the section we're looking for. It's actually the third section here, and we're going to click on uh, the last icon at the top here, which is going to be FTP accounts. So we'll go ahead and click on FTP accounts. And that's going to bring up Add FTP Account Wizard. It's very, I don't know if you saw the setting up an email address uh, tutorial, it's very similar to that same wizard um, that we're going to set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type in a, a, a login. So that login is going to be um, the login you would use to um, get into your FTP account. Uh, so we'll say Marcus at webtoolshelp.com and then um, we're going to choose a password it also gives you a password strength meter here as well as a generate password for you so that you can have a strong enough password I'm going to choose my own password and um, looks like it is going to be strong enough Second, um, and after that it's going to ask you to retype that password make sure they match it gives you a checkbox to make sure that that is correct and um, now the directory here that it says that it, it puts in here is public underscore HTML forward slash Marcus. So this is going to be the directory that it's going to be put in there. When you're first setting it up, you don't want to put Marcus. You're going to want to put just public HTML. Okay, so this is um, this is going to actually put you in your website. The public um, HTML is your site. If it's not in the public HTML, it's just going to go to the root directory. Um, of your FTP account and then it wouldn't really be posting on your site it'd be posting on your host account so um, in order to set this up so you can actually publish uh, your HTML to uh, your website and have it display properly for for Google and all of the the, the traffic engine then you're definitely going to want to put that in your public underscore HTML folder and that's how we set that up here and then your quota you can say you want it to be unlimited. You don't want to set a quota for this because you don't want um, to have any limit on how much you can put into your website and um, and how much uh, content that you can put in there. So you want to leave that unlimited and then you're going to go ahead and, and, and click create FTP account. So it says account created successfully and then what you're going to do is you want to copy this information here and this is this is how you're going to be able to get into that FTP account through um, your FTP uploader like FileZilla. Okay, and that is how you create an FTP account. Um, again, this is Marcus Eaton with WebToolsHelp.com. Look forward to uh, seeing you soon, and hope you have a great day.